Welcome back to the LNX Files. As always, this is a safe space for all things spooky. And today we're gonna use these tarot cards to do a week ahead read for all 12 signs of the Zodiac for the last few days in January through the beginning of February. So guys, we almost made it through the first month of 2023. I mean, I feel like the days are already going by really fast. It's kind of like, what the, what the? As usual, if you're new to this channel, I always say watch the clip for your rising sign as well as your sun sign because the week ahead is typically a Malay of the Teo. So for me last week, I'm a Libra rising and I'm a Scorpio sun. I got two reversals. So I was going into the week like, great. Reversals aren't always a bad thing. You know, sometimes they just mean that like you're getting a do over or things are happening slowly or in private. Sometimes it means there's some blockage. So for me, reflecting on one of them, there was static around one of the cards, like it was an issue about giving and receiving, and I definitely had static around that in my week at work, work. Sometimes keep in mind with a reversal, sometimes it just means like there's gonna be a delay in getting what you want, things happening slowly. Okay, so let's start with my Aries folk, my Aries sun and rising signs. Interesting, interesting card. So you guys got the judgment card in reverse bizarre okay i very seldom see this card come up when we do these spreads or when i do these week ahead reads and almost never in reverse so upright this is the card of god has a plan you know even if things look like chaos and corpses are jumping out of their tombs it's all part of the divine plan so when this card comes up in reverse gosh i mean it can mean a lot of things it, it can mean human beings trying to play god it can mean just like sheer chaos and disorder without any sense of like any like greater purpose. It can mean that sometimes when this card comes up in reverse, it can it can mean that like the week ahead things are feeling just like everything's going wrong or like things are just kind of being thrown at you. It can mean that. So there could be a sense of upheaval and change in the week ahead. You know, stuff might start coming out of left field for you. Uh, in the week ahead, but you guys are Aries. You guys are intrepid. You guys are very quick-witted, very quick-thinking. You guys are like cats, you know? You're like big cats. You always land on your feet. So, so I would just, you know, think of the week ahead as one big adventure, you know, and that you guys can handle it. All right, and now my Taurus folk, my Taurus rising signs. Okay, so a uh, Taurus folk, two of wands in reverse. So Libras and Libra risings got this last week. I know because I'm a Libra rising and I was paying attention. So this card upright means out with the old, in with the new. Um, so in reverse, it can mean the opposite, like out with the new, in with the old, like holding on to something that's old, that's near and dear to you. It, it can mean that meaning where you're refusing to move on, where you're just stagnating. It can mean that. Or it can mean a card of like... Or it can mean like there's just static on taking the next step, that there's slowness, there's an obstacle, blockages, taking the next step, grabbing that next pillar um, can be, there are delays around it. So years ago when I was in my tarot class, I was studying with the best tarot teacher in Los Angeles. Her name is Naha Armadi. She's a miracle. And this card fell out of my sleeve, like the sleeve of my coat. And I was going through a situation where I was like, you know, breaking off with one friend and starting a new friendship with another friend, a healthier friend. And this card came up. And that's what this card can mean. It can be a card of like upgrades and moving on and like, you know, the next plateau. You know, you're evolving your consciousness and now you have this, this wand here, which is... There's a sense that the, the new one is elevating. And there's also a sense that like the old one needs to be nailed into the past so you know where to find it if you do need it, but that it doesn't come bouncing into the future. And so this in reverse, usually what I see, it's all those concepts, but there's like a delay or static or it's happening slowly or in secret. So Taurus folk, you don't like change. You famously don't like change, right? You know? And even if it's a situation that needs to be changed, many of my Taurus folk that I know, they'd rather just get comfortable being uncomfortable rather than embrace change. So Taurus folk, what are the situations in your life where you're dragging your feet about change? And please stop. You know, sometimes you just gotta go. You just gotta take those hoofs and roam and, and go on to the next thing. You gotta do it because it will serve you and your life better. Okay? All right. Okay, and now my Gemini folk and my Gemini rising signs. Okay, so you guys got the Page of Cups in reverse. So the Page of Cups, this could be you. 
um, or someone in your life, a youthful figure. So sometimes this can, the page of cups can symbolize, uh, you know, a young person in your life or an immature person in your life. Or it can just symbolize like you, your own childishness and your own immaturity. So Gemini folks, you guys don't always have the easiest time with feelings. And this card is signifying that there's like some sort of new, potentially some new situation in your life that you're like over it. Like so the, all the love, the affection, the drain, the attention, the wonder is draining out of that situation. And you're just kind of like, oh, done here. Um, or is there something in your life, my Gemini folk, that's knocking you on your ass and you don't trust your intuition anymore and you don't trust your, your gut? Because what this card is telling me that either it's you and the guides are calling you out on like either a youthfulness and eccentricity or a childishness and immaturity, or there's a, someone or a situation in your life that are that is expressing those qualities, and there's some sort of imbalance about the relation about the relationship with emotions there. So my Gemini folk, like sometimes you have no choice but you just have to go in and like process your feelings and process your emotions and be like, yo, how do I feel like about X, Y, and Z? And if something is making you sad, well, then you need to feel the sadness and then let it go so you can, so it doesn't get stored in your body. I would say that, like, Geminis are, like, probably the one sign that struggles so much with feeling sadness. Like, you know, uh, a former boss of mine, this big shot CEO, my sister, like, they get so uncomfortable. They'll dance around anything so that they don't feel sadness or grief or loss. It's... So just guys, it's easier and quicker to get over situations, just feel them. I swear, just feel feel the feelings, guys. Feel it. Okay. Okay, now my Cancer folk and my Cancer rising signs. Okay, so you guys got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So guys, upright this is, you know, the abundant queen who is abundant, she's financially stable, she's in touch with reality, she's practical. So in reverse, this can mean a lot of things. You might have challenges related to money, you may have unforeseen expenses that just come out of nowhere, you're like, what the fuck is this? Um, you may just feel like you may get sudden news, you know, like Uranus is doing some weird stuff this weekend. So you may get sudden news out of nowhere that you're just like, uh, what happens? What the what the, you know, like you, you might not be able to get your fish oil supplements and then you go crazy. So, so I would anticipate something unexpected in the week ahead. It might be related to money. It just may be related to like your sense of solidity in the physical world, but like these challenges, these sudden events, they're not always bad. Like, lots of times they can serve us to take us to the next level. They can be the ass kick that takes us to the next level. So something may be occurring the week ahead. It may have to do with your physical home and environment, because cancer folks, you're, you love your home. You know, it's, it's very precious and important to you, your little nook where you hang out. So I would say, guys, be on the lookout for them in the week ahead. And cancer is like, you know, you're gentle, but you know who else is a cancer? Elon Musk is a cancer. Like, you guys are formidable opponents, and you can, you know, you can pretty much lean on your intuition as a superpower to guide you through any nebulous situation. You can pretty much do it, you know, you can pretty much do it whenever you need to. And don't forget, like, that is your superpower. That's almost like your invisibility cloak. And so whatever the week throws at you, whatever challenges, good news, bad news, just know that, like, you can find your way out of the fire swamp, okay? All right. And now, my Leo folk and my Leo rising signs. Okay, more reversals for everyone. So we got the Empress in reverse. So this could signify you or, you know, a, a woman who figures heavily in your life, like a superior, a professor, a boss, a, a parent. Um, and there's some sort of upheaval or static related to the Empress. So the Empress symbolizes the Divine Feminine, but also symbolizes just like creativity and lush abundance and like feminine urges and motherhood. So if you're trying to get pregnant, you know, that might be slower or may happen in a way that you don't expect. It, it could, this could be a week where you're feeling like your own creativity is coming out in bizarre ways or there might be static related to how you are expressing it. So basically, I would say all the qualities of the card upright, but with, you know, a nuance to it, with like a spin on it, with surprises or unexpected aspects to it. And that's okay, Leo, because, you know, you guys can some, sometimes be so confident, you can sometimes border on arrogant. So sometimes you need to have like the positive qualities of a card like this 
with a surprise, with, a, you know, a delay or a challenge or an obstacle so that you guys can flex your muscles because you are, after all, king of the jungle, you know? So you know everything, right? Okay, and now my Virgo folk and my Virgo rising signs. Ooh, interesting card. So you guys got the hanged man in reverse. So when the card is reversed, the man is upright. When the card is upright, the man is reversed. It's the only natural reversal in the deck. And so this card upright reminds us we gotta let go, gotta go with the current. It's a reminder to be like, whatever you're trying to do, stop controlling. You know, don't social media stalk people. Don't analyze things to bits with your friends. You know, don't like try to make a plan about how you're going to get the outcome that you want. This is not the time for that. You know, the time for it is to just let go, let the shit fall out of your pocket, and that's how you're going to get enlightenment. So when this card comes up in reverse, it suggests that you have the enlightenment, but like you get it. Now, some of the Virgos watching this, you will have done the work. You will have like let go, took your hands off the steering wheel, and like, and we're like, you know what? I'm not going to even try to fly this plane. Now, some of you Virgo folks were just forced into a realization or like you saw a text message or you overheard something or something dawned on you, whatever. But like if you're having the realization, even if you don't like the news, you don't like what something says, it's always a gift. Like finding out the truth or finding out like the reality of a situation is always a gift, you know, and we don't have enough objectivity in this realm to know like what's good, what's bad. We don't have a big enough perspective. You know, it's kind of like the story, the parable about the man and his, his horse runs away and it was the horse that he used to plow the fields and then everyone was like, oh, sorry for your bad luck. And he was like, oh, you know, good luck, bad luck, who knows. And then the horse comes back and brings like six other wild horses with it and now they have six horses and people are like, oh, you know. The story goes on from there, but do you see what I mean? Like. We don't have enough of enough perspective to really determine what's good or what's bad, you know, moving forward. So I would just say, you know, guys in the week ahead, just, you know, you know, just take it as it comes. And like, guys, Virgo folk, you guys are capable. You guys are extremely capable people. You're strategists. So whatever it is like that you discover the truth of, just use it in the week ahead and just, you know, make peace with it and plan accordingly like you do all right and now my libra folk my libra rising signs oh weird okay so scorpio's got this last week i know because i'm a scorpio so we got this card again six well this is a first for libras but it's second time around for me so we got the six of pentacles in reverse so this suggests that there's some sort of uh static around gifts or giving, giving and receiving. What this means is that upright is a card of like giving and receiving and like things like resources, love, money, attention, affection, all these things, things of value, they need to be in circulation. No one should be hoarding any of these things. So when this is in reverse, it's suggesting that there's some sort of like wonkiness in your life uh, about giving or receiving. Are you taking too much? Are you demanding too much of others? Are you the person that's over giving? Are you trying to control people by over giving? Are people just not being grateful? Like they're, you know, the, the amount of giving and receiving is fine, but people are just like, yeah, whatever. Thanks for the free stuff. Like b scrutinize these relationships in the week ahead and just know like, you know, quite frankly, sometimes we're in situations where like this, this card is off, you know, giving and receiving in our lives is off. Sometimes we got to hang out with shitty people, you know, like our in-laws. Uh, well, I mean, I don't have in-laws right now, but the in-laws I had, I didn't like them. So sometimes it just happens that we got to suck it up, right? And like ver Libra folk, you don't really like sucking things up. You're ruled by Venus and you think that everything should be balanced and harmonious. I mean, you guys are the scales, you know, for fuck's sake. So... So, you know, sometimes Libra folk, like, if you're in a situation that you think is inherently unfair or unjust, don't, sometimes you guys freak out a little bit and you can get, like, kind of scary. Just know that sometimes you, you have to, like, you know, roll with the punches in life. And if you're in a situation where you, like, you feel like there's, like, a severe injustice, well, then I would just say, you know, just chill. I would say, see how you can correct it in a way that is unemotional. Because I, I grew up with a Libra mom and... Yeah, she could get scary sometimes, so please, you know, try to be as calm and unemotional as possible. Okay, and now my Scorpio folk and my Scorpio rising signs. Okay, so we got the Seven of Pentacles upright. So the Seven of Pentacles is like, hey, how come these tomatoes aren't red? Why are they still green? 
And this is a card that reminds us that things take time. You know, a baby can only gestate for nine months, and that's good. That's how long a baby needs to take to gestate. Like, it needs the full nine months, and it should have it, right? You know, so that the baby can be a healthy baby, right? So, like, if you're looking at something in your life and you're like, hey, why are these tomatoes still green? Just know, like, you still have seven really nice tomatoes. Like, they're good tomatoes. They're going to be red eventually. Just chill. You know, keep doing the work in your garden and stop freaking out. So Scorpios can be impatient, like, for sure. I know this. I am a Scorpio. Like, it, I'm a Scorpio that grew up in New York, which is, like, you know, a city of, like, now, now, now. So so if it, this is you in the week ahead, I want you to just chill out and just, you know, take a step back and don't try to control things, Scorpios, because I know you like to do that. We like to control and get our claws in and sink in and be like, we're running this show and we know how things are going to end. And, you know, just like with the garden, there's, we can do our best, we can put our time in, we can till the fields, but we can't always control the outcome. So please keep that in mind in the week ahead. Okay, and now my Sag folk, my Sag rising signs. Oh, okay, this is a nice simple card from a Sag folk. So, Nine of Cups. So, I seem to recall you got another, like, very happy, cheerful, saggy card last week. And so, this is great. So, whatever it is you're working on or trying to do or this is a nice, like, you know, circle this day in gold. You know, just circle the day in gold. Like, the circle the week in gold, Sag. So... This is a card of wish fulfillment, of happiness, of like, oh, I'm going to get that thing that I want. So if there's something you're thinking about moving forward about, green light from the universe. If there's th something you're like, oh, I wonder if I can achieve this thing in the week ahead. Yes, you can achieve it. So, oh, I wonder if I should take this risk. Yes, do it. So this is green light from the universe. Circle it in gold. You guys can do it. And like my Sag folk, like you're a very magical sign. Like you're the one sign of the zodiac that's half human, half animal. So... Who you guys see the world in a very specific, very unique way, and so whatever it is you're trying to do in the week ahead, whatever you're trying to manifest, just go for it. This is a nice green, green light, okay? I mean, it's this is open and shut, Sag folk. All right, and now my Capricorn folk and my Capricorn rising signs. Okay, Capricorn folk, Knight of Pentacles. So this card symbolizes you or a person of interest in your life that is being very passive. So this is one of the fuckboys of the of the tarot so is it representing you or someone in your life so this is like the knight and he's the most passive of all the knights like he's the knight like the, there's no movement from his horse and with the fields below it's unclear if he's freshly tilled them or if they've been completely neglected like literally no one knows we know that this knight has a lot of attention to detail. He's put like oak leaves on the forehead of his horse so that the bugs do not bother his horse. That's good that he knows how to take care of a horse. Can he take care of humans? But like he's just kind of like staring, you know, into the abyss right now. And the, the issue with that is it's not very productive. Yeah, you're not really achieving a lot. You know, it's kind of just like sometimes you have to uh, trust and let time just kind of like reveal things to you. And he's just kind of like uh, just kind of staring off into the abyss or overanalyzing things. So is this you Capricorn folk or is this someone you're allowing into your life? Because if it's if it's you, then please stop doing that. Like Capricorns, you're very action oriented. You're very uh, good at solving problems, solving challenges. Like you're great at working your ass off. So take action on something that needs to be taken action on. Or is there someone in your life that's putting this very sort of like dead, passive, unreliable energy? Because we don't need that. And you guys typically have like no patience for that. So what's going on? is my question to you. So these are things I would like you to reflect on in the week ahead. Okay, and now my Aquarius folk and my Aquarius rising signs. Okay, so Aquarius folk, didn't you guys, I feel like you guys have recently gotten some difficult cards and now we got the Ten of Swords in reverse. So if there was a challenge that was going on in recent times in your life, the it, it's gonna start to recede. Like the pain of that challenge and the healing is going to begin. So usually when this card shows up in reverse, um, it means the knives, the swords are going to fall out, and the person is going to begin the healing process. Occasionally it means he's being skewered like an appetizer and all hell is breaking loose, but that's very rare. Usually it means like the healing can begin. So Aquarian folk, what is it that you're healing from? What is it that you're recovering from? 
What do you feel like you're bouncing back from? What difficulty? What challenge? Okay? Because you guys are visionaries and you're also strategists. So what can you do in your present to make sure that this doesn't repeat in the future? How can you protect yourself? How can you arm yourself? How can you exhibit more self-love so that you're able to not have to deal with this ever again or at a much greater minimum? So Aquarians, like you guys, like I always say this, you're visionaries and like you can see things and possibilities where other people don't. But, you know, sometimes you can be a little, you know, like many air signs, you can be a little cavalier about consequences or, oh, we're all work it out. Or um, sometimes you just like to do things according to your schedule and you can sometimes miss opportunities when that happens. So I'd like you to take stock in the week ahead. Okay. And now my Pisces folk and my Pisces rising signs. Okay, so this is very positive for my Pisces folk. So you guys got the devil card in reverse. So this is the most, this is the most beneficial reversal in the deck. So upright, this is a card. It often comes up for toxic relationships, um, addicts, toxic couples, codependency, uh, people with uh, abusing pornography, with like weird toxic sexual stuff going on in the background. And it's an inversion of the magician. The magician reminds us, as above, so below, the devil reminds us, as below, so above, you know, let us not forget. And so it indicates that the underworld is ruling now the spirit world and like darker impulses are running the show. So in reverse, this card means that like you and usually a partner have overcome or are in the process of overcoming darker impulses or just going through a difficult period in your relationship. It doesn't have to be like you're both addicts. It could just be like you and a partner or sometimes the guides will just mean this to mean you are overcoming a difficult time. And so the chain in reverse of the devil card mimics the chain, the rainbow in the 10 of cups. So Pisces folk, I know that you've had a rough couple of years. We all have, but like, I feel like a lot of the Pisces folk that I know particularly have. And so, you know, kudos that it's going to be bluer skies ahead. That's fantastic for y'all. That's fantastic for you all. And, you know, if you're in a point where, like, you feel like, you know, the sun is shining again or that you've been doing a lot of overcoming, it would be very useful for an intuitive sign like you to do some journaling. If you think journaling is lame, just make a bullet pointed list. Like, what are some of the themes of the things that you have had to deal with? And how have some of them you created and manifested? And which ones did you just not have any control over? Because let us not forget, we don't have control over everything in life. I mean, we like to think that we can, but we don't, you know. Some things are out of our control and some things are also faded and karma from previous lifetimes. So take stock of this, take stock of the way that you acted or reacted and just, you know, really see how really try and, you know, spend some time looking about how like certain challenges or certain uh, obstacles could be avoided in the future or what you might have done differently in the future is what I would uh, is what I would uh, think about and the people in your life are they all f serving your highest purpose because I feel like some of the Pisces people out there are letting uh, toxic people remain in their relationship and that it is dragging you down my special fish my psychic fish Okay, guys, so that's what I've got for you. Please comment below. So let me know your thoughts about the week ahead. It is what it is until it is what it's not, right? And so I don't know what that means, but comment below. Let me know what, I, what the hell I'm trying to say. Like and subscribe, and as always, we'll do this again.